Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about architectures available in uh, to design a project in ASP.NET Core and uh, I will give you an example of each actually and uh, just I'm going to describe the top level architectures in ASP.NET Core. So here we have a monolithic architecture and you know that uh, this architecture consists of single application that contain all the modules components and services. It is a simple to develop and deploy, but it can become difficult to maintain and scale as the application grows. Okay, so this is the uh, monolithic architecture. You can see inside it, uh, here we have a customer uh, in uh, uh, just after that the internet and a single large monolithic system where it's a single system where UI layer is existing, business layer and data access layer inside in the a single large monolithic system available. So that is the monolithic architecture. Now, uh, just we are going to discuss about a three tier architecture and what is the three tier architecture? The, this architecture consists of three layers, presentation layer, business layer and data access layer. The presentation layer handles the user interface. The business logic layer contains the application logic and the data uh, access layer is responsible for interacting with the database. Actually, in the data uh, access layer, we are using uh, actually a DB context file. Okay, so this architecture is easy to maintain and test, but it can become complex as the application grow. Okay, so this is the three tier architecture. When uh, whenever the application is grow, that uh, becomes is complex. Okay. So now, now, just we are doing, uh, introducing the microservice architecture. That is the best architecture, you can say. This architecture consists of the multiple small services that communicate with each other through uh, APIs. Each services is responsible for a specific functionality and they can be developed and deployed independently. And each services are deployed independently. So this architecture is highly scalable and resilient but it can be complex to design and deploy. It's actually designing is a complex uh, and deployment is also uh, complex, but uh, the performance wise, uh, the microservice architecture is best. Scalable type, it's a best. So um, microservice architecture, you can say that we can uh, push any uh, outside memory to the each services, okay. And the last one is the clean architecture. That is the best architecture for the small type applications. So this architecture is a modular and a testable architecture that separates the application into layers such as entities, use case, interface, adapters, and framework and drivers. It emphasizes separation of concern, dependency inversion, and testability. It is highly maintainable and flexible, but it requires more upfront design and planning.